Look at those little scallops on the side. Kind of looks like a Cuda. I like those. Well, first two things we got. One of them, it runs, but this carburetor's poop, so we got to change the carburetor out. And it doesn't stop. So I'm doing some investigating right now. And I found this. Lots of grease, grime, gook. The, uh, the pads aren't completely gone, but they're down there pretty good. Biggest thing I noticed, it is they're frozen. Like they're, they should move. They should move. They should be able to slide kind of easy. So I got some new pads. I'm going to pull these springs and pull the clips and pop those off and see if we can get this thing to stop because I'm, you know, kind of partial to not running into crap. But let's get going. So as you can see, got them all cleaned up, all partied up. And this doesn't have the standard like twisty adjuster. These are actually uh, self-adjusting. You back up and hit the brakes and they are supposed to slide and self-adjust. This little guy slides like that. Uh, I am gonna lube everything up just so you guys know. I'm telling you right now, synthetic uh, caliper grease, this stuff works amazing. Smells like hell, but works amazing. Got the right pads. Here's are the new ones. Those are the old ones. Uh, I'm gonna get these things pop back on there and see if we can actually stop this thing. All right, got the brakes changed out. Was trying to adjust them. They're self-adjusting. You back up and hit the brakes. Well, the float bowl stuck, so it keeps draining gas out. So I wanna fix that carb before I end up finishing up the brakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this carburetor off. It's simple. It's just uh, 10 millimeter on each side. Clamp off your gas hose, pop it off there. Pull the breather back up. That's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to pull that one off, put the new one we got right here on, and I'll get right back with you. All right, the new carb is in, as you can see. And the interesting thing about these is they try to go full throttle all the time. So if this ever breaks, your cart goes full throttle. So instead of trying to start it and just hang on for the ride, I got it on a jack stand making sure my wheels are free so if it does idle high or run crazy i don't have to worry about smashing into my car so uh let's go ahead and see if this thing will run with the new carb all right so here's the uh adjustment right here for the throttle now if you watch this when i hit the gas it actually lets tension off of it instead of pulling it like a mini bike or something like that it's actually letting tension off see at the end there i got it where it's that's wide open so i only got about that much right now and we'll see if that's too much or if I need to bring it up and yes this is frayed I should probably just replace this damn cable because that would suck if that popped and this thing went uh, whoopee we're going for a ride so I'm gonna adjust this thing so I can get it close to here maybe about right in there see if we can get this thing to start well let's just start it and see what it does I'd say that's pretty good because I want it to die like the uh, course carts where you just let off the gas and it stops running. So, success! I all wish me luck. I'm gonna try and uh, get the brakes to work. This will be fun. I think I need to adjust the emergency brake. Kind of stuck. Yep, we're back at this stage again. Got it all ripped back apart because, uh, well, went and bought those new pads. I was like, oh yeah, man, let's put them on. Forgive me, I'm getting over cold. Yeah, so I got these and then they handed me these that were all wrapped up. You can see I got the oil on them all purdy. 
I was like, all right, sweet. Let me go throw them on there. Line them up. They look good, right? Everything's good. Nah, everything ain't good. If you take this one, you take this one, you set them side by side. See where that lines up right there? Now if we look, right there is good, but if we look, oh! There's about a quarter inch missing. So, uh, I have to wait now until Monday to get the replacement ones because, well, it's Saturday and they close at noon and it's 12.30. So, yeehaw! I guess I'll slap these back on and uh, be able to at least move the cart around, but... Dang it, man. I'm trying to get these brakes done. Oh, one last thing. So you guys saw in the last part of the video that when I hit the brakes, the emergency part, or the parking brake, the top piece here, got stuck. The reason that happens, if anybody runs into that, is because ugh, right here is where you adjust your brakes. Right there. Right there. And yes, I'm ripping all this wiring out. Who the hell did that? But, uh, so you have this. If this is all the way tight, that will hang up. So if you loosen, loosen that up, give yourself a little bit of play, it'll stop that emergency brake from sticking. But you have to make sure that you also adjust out your uh, brakes back here, which to adjust these out uh, on this old easy go, usually they have the little spinner like it does on a car. This one has this handy little bolt right here and you tighten that thing up and it takes these here and spreads them out a little bit so you get more pressure without having to push so hard on the pedal anyway tech tip from your old uh, uncle e here project uh, old stanky is coming along well let's see what else we can do till i get the brakes in everybody's favorite time parts so these parts came in and this is going to be crazy because Depending upon when the parts come in, as everybody knows right now, there's a shortage on everything. As parts come in, then we'll diddle around with stuff. So in the, in the uh, attempt to, well, let's see. That just looks like vomit. Pure vomit. So I went ahead and bought us a... Deet deet. Let me get this out of the box. Oh, I bought me one of these new fine dangled sports steering wheels so that's gonna be there oh man old stanky knocking some turd off old stanky but that also comes with if you're gonna get one it already has this little piece here this is an adapter that screws to the steering wheel do yourself a favor spend i think it was nine bucks and get yourself the beauty ring Ooh, look at this pretty part all shiny got your little splines up in there Oh man. So that's going to go under. That's going to bolt on there. Yeehaw, Mickey Thompson. Before we go making it all fancified with the new Fandangle steering wheel, about this, or these, should I say. Oh, look at this. Some pretty belts. Because uh, let's take a look here. We're trying to make it stop. We already made it run. So if we look in here, uh, that thing is cracked like grandma's elbow right there. Look how cracked up. I mean, good Lord. That's going to last about a week. Look at that. That's grandma's elbow right there. Crusty and yucks. And, uh, no, you can't put lotion on that and fix it. So, yeah, let's get these new belts and, uh, let's pop them bad boys on. Let's get something done today. Isn't that the big dipper? Yeah, and that looks just like Uranus. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So, here's the new belt and here's the old belt. Let's see if we're, uh... I know the old belts are stretched a little bit, so it might be a little bit smaller, but I'm checking to see how bad it is. If it fits right inside it, I think we're okay. Yeah. 
Let's see. Can I get a good shot? It's pretty close. Looks stretched a little bit. We'll try the new one and see if it works. I mean, we'll see how bad this one is. I mean, this one's pretty freaking mangled. I mean, that that's just... There ain't no time left in that, and that's gone. All right, let's pop that new one on. All right, new belt is on. It's uh, it's pretty tight though. I'm kind of worried that as soon as I touch the gas, this thing's just gonna take off. But I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. And uh, well, hopefully it works. Otherwise, I'll have to get another belt. But let's see what happens. I think it'll wear in. It's kind of doing a burnout on itself, but it works. So I'm gonna run that for a little while and see if it tears up the belt and I have to buy a new one. But either way, it's better than old uh, the grandma's elbow over here. All right, let's keep uh, making lemonade out of this turd. Something else kind of sketchy that I noticed when I was down here doing breaks and all that is, uh, well, whoever did this lift, uh, I don't think they got the right stuff on here. I mean, this is just two shackles. Let me go back over here. This is just two shackles on, can I get to it? Two shackles on the uh, shock. There's nothing stopping them from going forward or backward beside the pressure. So that would be uh, pretty bad if that thing just folded. And you can tell those shocks are, uh, I think Jesus was born about the time these shocks were made. So I don't know. I need to get some uh, some research on it and see how people really do these because <laughs> clearly we got a little bend in that spring and I just don't trust those two little shackles. So let's check out the front. Now here's the front. Now I ain't no gynecologist, but that don't something don't look right to you. Don't look right to me. You can see here's the original. Landing pads for the shocks, that makes sense there. But then, did, did they just take... Uh, now, tell me if that's what they do to these carts, I don't know. I mean, I understand the blocks and lifting the springs, but... Some don't smell right on old Stanky here with this noise. That's, uh, ew. Then we're missing, well, there's really nothing here. To hold on to the front end to go down to there, so... I don't know. We'll have to uh, kick this thing around. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see? It's tilted a little bit. Probably because that one's twisted. Ooh, I can see it's kind of bent in a little. Let's rip all that off and redo it. Yes, today is finally the day I was able to find, get the store when it was open and get the right pads. Hey, that's much better. We'll go ahead and get this side buttoned up, put the other new ones on the other side, and adjust these brakes. All right, remember how this brake was getting stuck before? Now, if I push it down, it doesn't get stuck. The brakes actually work. And if I do hit the hill brake, now all I do is push here gently. And look at that. Hey, push to the top, click. Now it's releasing. If you ever need to fix that, it is that adjustment right there. This one right here. Just turn it one way or the other and play with it until you get it right. So the brakes are sorted out, carburetors replaced, belts replaced. So we got the basics. We can move it around now to work on it. So the next thing I want to do is take this, see if I can, take this completely off, put it on some saw horses, and get to work. Uh, there's some wiring in here. It's got little, you know, blinker indicators and stuff on here. And I think it's time to just gut all of it. So I'm going to see if I can get this front end off here and then we'll get to sand and see if we can make this uh, turd shine again.
glass. So we were able to uh, get the bolts out. One of them had a little issue, so I got the universal uh, get her loose tool. And that thing took care of the job, no problem. Gotta love it. Well, let's see what we got under this here yucky front end. Let's see. We got some wires and some junk, and well, let's see. What are these even? Really going up in here. This one's going up in here. And oh, they go to that switch that doesn't do anything. That's awesome. Don't you love those switches? Here, I know how to fix it. Let's uh, what they say, don't cut this one. Nope, don't cut that one. Let's see, is this one better? Oh, don't cut that one either. Okay, well, I guess we're screwed. Now, I'm gonna cut all this garbage out and um, yeah, start completely over. But I got to the front end now, so I can at least spray everything down, clean it up. Put this bad boy in some sawhorses, get her sanded down, get her in primer, and then what color should we paint this thing? What's a good look for old Stanky? Leave it in the comments down below. progress made today this is uh, step one not day one but step one got the front end off so here's where we're gonna end off this video episode one episode whatever it is yeah I believe it's one but uh we got some progress carburetor belt front end ripped off starting to clean everything up ripped all the wiring out just kind of seeing what we got to work with here before we start Shining the turd. If you like videos like this or like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you really like it, hit that sub button if you're not already there. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you watching.